Hi, this is your host Swapnil Bhartia and welcome to another episode of Mainframe Matters. We are here at Open Mainframe Summit in Philadelphia and today we have with us Amrit Tunar, your Director of Software Engineering at Broadcom. First of all, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. And uh, today we are going to talk mostly about mainframe security, which is also like your domain, right? Mm-hmm. So mainframe, if you look, generally perspective is that it's extremely secure. But you know, if I uh, if I ask your opinion, what is your perspective on uh, mainframe security? As you said, uh, a lot of users look at mainframe security and mainframe platform as inherently secure because it has been built as a secure platform from the very early days. And it's one of the key tenants of the platform. However, the evolution of the platform, when you look at it over the last 15, 20 years, right? We have seen a change in the way we develop applications using more modern languages, using open source software. And also we have seen the opening of the the platform to the rest of the, the enterprise. And that creates additional attack surfaces and risks for our our mainframe users. You talked about, you know, the change, the way, you know, leveraging, consuming a lot of open source technology as well, which also sometimes brings us to the point of we hear a lot about in software or open sources, software supply chain issue as well. Mm -hmm. So if I do ask about if there are certain things that keeps you awake at night because of those components, you know, security might get compromised. Yes. So how do you look at the software supply chain security problem and what do you also feel we should do to improve it? When you look at the latest trend in attacks in in the software world, software supply chain attacks has been at the forefront, right? Whether it's the SolarWinds attack over the last year, uh, et cetera, uh, and that's where the weakness is and that's where the bad actors are coming in. So there is a lot of effort and initiatives going on. Uh, when we look at what the US government has done with the issuing of the executive order last year to emphasize the importance of increasing the security of our software supply chain. So the community is coming together, the government, the, the private industry, the leaders in the industry are coming together, developing new standards, whether it's software bill of materials, et cetera, that's gonna bring more visibility into what's in the software. And in turn, that will allow better tracking of the vulnerabilities that are tied to those software and allow the consumers to make sure they are patching that. One more challenge with the, especially with the software uh, supply chain security is that who is responsible for fixing them, right? Is it at the project table, you know, where the project are, or is it the supplier of the software, you know, the specific vendor that I'm consuming, yeah. or is the infrastructure provider who's, you know, infrastructure I am using, yeah. or the in the end, you know, that I'm packaging everything. So, so. Well, it's, it's all of the above, right? So as software vendors like Broadcom, et cetera, that are in the industry, right? Obviously, we need to own the supply chain of this software that we deliver to our customers, right? Um, open source projects like Open Mainframe Project, Zoe, et cetera. They need to own their own supply chain, right? And all of those come together at the consumer sites, right? And the consumers will have to manage that. I'm using this software from vendor A, I'm using this open source project that all comes together, creates my payroll application or my SRM application, et cetera, right? I need to own that as the consumer, right? Uh, but what we need to do is work on standardization, work on visibility and transparency to enable that end user to be able to do that. What advice you have? I mean, it's a very overused term, best practices, yeah. but you know, so that organization can at least take those steps. Yes. Security is not a product, it's a process. You mm-hmm. know, it's, a, it's a cat and mouse game. Yes. You, you have to be right 100% time. Yeah. Bad actor have to be right only one time. Mm-hmm. So, so talk about some of the best practices yeah. so that they can you know, protect themselves. So especially when we look at the mainframe industry, right? We started by talking about the fact that, hey, it's been viewed as inherently secure, right? So we see that our customers are not necessarily accustomed to or expect that security vulnerabilities is an issue for the platform but that's not the reality, right? With open source, increased open source usage, um, we know it's a a challenge that we need to tackle, right? So my number one advice is patch, 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 patch your software, right? You need, you have a maintenance 
program in place already, right? You patch your software at certain frequency. Um, you may prioritize certain fixes above others, right? Make sure security fixes are part of that, right? I can't tell you what your schedule needs to be, right? But what I can tell you is you should have a vulnerability patch management as part of your overall patch management. Um, the other thing I would recommend is that's for the software that you buy from other vendors or use from open source community and et cetera, right? But you also have to worry about your own software that you develop in-house, right? A lot of mainframe customers have their own mainframe homegrown software. So you need to implement secure software development lifecycle best practices for your own software as well, right? You need to know what's what open source software you're using in that software, right? So that you can trace the vulnerabilities, you can patch them up and keep your software safe. Excellent, thanks. And as you're also saying, you know, first of all, open source developers, you know, that are coded being used, but then the, the mainframe community is also getting younger. A lot of new developers are also writing. Correct. And most of those developers do come from open source background. They are like used to using Git and those kind mm -hmm. of things. What ad advice do you have for these new developers so that they kind of embrace the culture that was inherent to the mainframe community of having security first? Great comment, right? Great question. So again, one of the key pillars of the platform is that it's secure, right? And it's really important we retain it that way. We as a community, we as software vendors need to retain that key value proposition to our customers. To do that, we got to keep our software secure, right? So my advice to the, the new generation of developers coming into the platform is embrace the security value proposition of the platform and contribute to it, right? Educate yourself on how to, how to write secure software. Understand the secure uh, security standards and vulnerability management standards that we're extending into mainframe, right? They, the advantage they have is they already know vulnerability management, best practices, et cetera, off the platform, right? On the distributed platform, et cetera. Bring those in, right? We're bringing those in, help us educate our customers, help us educate our, our community to continue enhancing the security of the platform. Emre, thank you so much for taking yeah. time out today and talk about uh, security in the mainframe space. I really appreciate those insights, especially those tips that you have, not only for the organizations, but also for new developers. And I would love to have you back on the show. Thank Absolutely. You. Thanks for the opportunity.